Welcome back everyone. Let's play Rule the Waves as the United States. I think this is episode number 37 or 38. So as far as series go, we're really getting towards the end. I usually don't go much beyond 40 episodes in the series. And my god, even having gone this far. <laughs> anyway, we've um, successfully la launched a few invasions. So far New Brunswick has fallen. Um, Bermuda has fallen. Nothing in the Caribbean quite yet, although we're making a play for that right now. And currently, um, we highway, way highway, I don't know how to say that, but uh, that's also being invaded, and we will be able to take over the unpronounceable province, I think. Southeast Asia was obviously another target moving into this war especially because they do have, I think Burma's part of Indian Ocean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can probably see it here. I, I, there was a way to look. I remember figuring it out somehow. Anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's in Burma. Um, and so they still have three provinces that would be three locations, cities, whatever you want to call them, locations. Let's call them locations that we would be more than happy to take from them. Um, isolating them out of Northeast Asia does also help. It reduces the places we know we're going to find them. Surprisingly, we don't really find them on the West Coast, despite the fact that they have a colony there. It seems a little unfair, in fact, that this colony, because it's worth so many points, cannot actually be invaded. <laughs> if I put all my forces here, we still would not be able to invade Canada. And I, I don't know if anybody's mentioned that in the comments. I think somebody might have, that it's a little bit funny that uh, you can't invade Canada because that's probably, it surely would have been the one of the first places, if not the first place for the United States to um, reach out towards if they had actually gone to war with the British. So, I mean, that's where a lot of fighting happened. Uh, even in the Revolutionary War, there was a little bit of fighting there. I mean, uh, mostly the Canadians, uh, I think the Native American tribes joining, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a natural place to, to think <laughs> that there'd be conflict. Anyway, let's not babble on too much. Lots of monthly balance back. I did talk about starting a new class of ship. It cannot be a destroyer because we already have the best destroyer possible in the Cunningham, which is just, just perfect. Eight torpedo broadside, two extra torpedoes on the other side, three five-inch guns, it's everything you'd want in a destroyer and for some reason we got lucky with the design speed and it's a 35 knot ship as well i mean so it's not even it's only 1300 tons it's probably a little bit cheaper in terms of monthly maintenance uh than some of the more expensive 1500 ton destroyers i've made but just as good if not better so we're not going to make a destroyer we could always make another battle cruiser or dreadnought um, especially with all the weight savings to the engines all those help the battle cruiser more than anything else uh, light cruisers, always a candidate. We do have a pretty darn good... Where is she? What is our pretty darn good one? Is it the Great Lakes? It is the Great Lakes. So the pretty darn good Great Lakes has seven six-inch broadside. It's actually obsolete. That's how good it is. <laughs> it's old now. But it's it's just already pretty much exactly what you want. Six torpedoes per side. I mean, what we could be doing is getting full eight-inch full, sorry, full eight six inch broadside on each side instead of seven by going to double turrets. And that would also save a little bit of um, tonnage. I think we could make this slightly better, but it's not a huge priority. Frankly, we have a lot of other light cruisers. So how many do we have total? 27, if we go to the Almanac, we can kind of see where we're most deficient. We're definitely not deficient in terms of light cruisers. It'd be nice to make another one, but we basically don't have a need there. And my god, okay, you have to take away all the invader class destroyers here, which is 60 of them. So let's just pretend we're at 52, which is still much more. Yeah, I mean, there's clearly one place where we are lacking more than other, other nations, and it's in the capital ships. Considering our budget is so much higher, except for not quite higher than the Brits, but... Um, it's higher than everyone else, and we don't have as many battle cruisers as, as the Germans, and we don't have as many dreadnoughts as the British. So, but I'm uh, not doing too bad. But two of these, or I should say, even the Filipinos or uh, the Philippines, I should say, the Philippines class, uh, a little outdated. 
Von Schoven definitely is nothing interesting. Ah, uh, the Ticonderogas, though. Maybe we should just get more of these. I mean, oh god. I love it. I forgot that I had quad turrets on this guy. Holy cow, what a ship. I mean, I honestly might just consider building more of these and then getting a, an endgame battle cruiser. We already have some pretty good battle cruisers. The Yosemite and Ticonderoga are both already endgame ships. I mean, no, actually, Yosemite is good, but it's not. I would say it's not endgame. There's like two more ships that I really want to make. I want to make one more Dreadnought with the 18 inch guns, because that would be a lot of fun. And I want to make that one actually with a slightly uh, slightly more armor as well. I was, think, I was thinking about going with a three turret design, in fact. Just uh, three quad turrets, or even a two quads and one triple, the super firing forward being triple. Some ideas. Okay, so our troops invaded Newfoundland now. God, <laughs> New Providence. All right, the <laughs> RNG favors us at last. Um, we'll keep this knowledge to ourselves. I think enhanced high explosive filler. I believe that this is a HE, a shell upgrade, in which case it's instantly activated. So this is something that it's not like they're going to apply this to their ships. It just automatically applies to all their guns. So we'll keep that to ourselves. Ah, aha, one of their Q ships got us. It's pretty cool that that's an event. Okay, battle in support of land combat. I mean, absolutely, they'll probably decline. They did. Same situation here. They are going to decline. And another cruiser action. They're going to decline. Okay, good. <laughs> things are uh, things are getting to be pretty straightforward. Um, we could take the time, since Southeast Asia is probably not a place where we're going to end up invading. We could take the time to just move these. Mount Rainier's back home. But did, wait, I thought, did we already start? The, the Tycho's and the Lightning. So the Lightnings. I have one Lightning which is refit, 1927. So let's move you to the Caribbean. And when your sister ship gets out, we'll move her to the Caribbean as well. And yeah, we'll wait that at one extra minute, one extra month. Uh, just before we redo the other lightnings. And then we've really got to start getting the Mount Rainiers. And what are we gonna be doing with them? I think that they're not so old. Let's see, nine, it's pretty low. 11 inch turrets, damn, that is pretty low. Well, this um, replacing of the turret will, oh, we don't even have better 13 inch guns. It's kind of weird to me. I, I'm pretty sure that we turned normal research, like 100%. We didn't slow down research in this game, did we? Because it's surprising me that the, obviously the biggest surprise is for some <laughs> reason, only God only knows why, we never got six inch guns, quality one six inch guns. Okay, taking that, fighting continues. Oh, I have no idea what they have here. So this is potentially treacherous. I'm gonna hope it's a battle, uh, not a battle cruiser. I'm gonna hope it's not a battle cruiser. <laughs> We're doomed anyway. I mean, these guys have a top speed of 27. We're pretty much doomed anyways. It's, yeah, it's a light cruiser. Okay, let's go for it. Pegasus class, can you remind me? Yeah, we can take her, maybe. We're gonna try. Yeah, I think if I were her, I would probably engage me as well. Five, six inch guns. We do have the advantage. I think we have six or maybe even, oh, good, good start. We landed two hits, they landed one. I'm trying to get to the west side so that we can get that wind advantage. Moderate breeze out of the east, northeast. So putting ourselves in between her and the wind's direction, where the wind's coming from is gonna be an advantage. We hit her a few times. She does have 28 knots, so unfortunately we have to rely on uh, 
doing enough damage to her to slow her down. And I think these might even be <laughs> oil fire, I mean coal firing ships. Man, we've got a lot of hits on her though. And by a lot, I guess only five. Yeah, that, it's not necessary that we have slowed her down from that few of hits. Okay, six now. Ah, sea state limit ship. Okay, th that means that 26. Yeah, so that means that we'll both be going 26, and so now that means that we won't lose her. Uh, I spat on my screen. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to. Ugh. Gross. Alright, let's get her. Let's go fast because this is taking a while. Probably we're going to go until night. It's only just after midday. Track her down. Okay, just lock the screen. We're getting closer. The zigzags aren't going to help her much if she keeps cutting back and forth. Aha, uh -huh. something happened. Unlock. So two hits. One of those appeared to, appears to have really damaged her. Okay, now we have her. We have her number. Pull up alongside. Come on. There we go. All right. And not to be hit by torpedoes, we're gonna open up our port side. Those people were waiting for their chance to, <laughs> you know, light use their guns as well. So we're a fair group, fair captain, giving both port and starboard guns a chance to fire. So a successful engagement, but really, <laughs> that one. It doesn't matter if we win or lose that one anyway. Okay. You know what I think we'll do? And why not? Oh, interesting. Oh, actually, this is a battle, too. Ooh. Okay, well, we have two... They only have a destroyer in the area, supposedly. And by the time we get on top of each other, we will be very close because... The weather. Holy good lord! Okay, um... Turn together, and go that way. Squad max, in. Oh, okay. There, this is the ship we're, where we want dead. It's a minesweeper. You gonna take that from a minesweeper? I still want us to get out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, good. I have no idea who else is here. We're going to send these guys home, wherever home is. Ah, it's actually our home, Kiasho Bay. <laughs> Originally German, but we have another one maybe over to the east. Ah, okay, but Kiasho Bay is closer. Let's go south, and then we'll... Um, you guys actually aren't responding to... Okay, there. Oh, it's Carnage. And we destroyed their Minesweeper. I don't know what they had a Minesweeper doing in this area for. Oh, oh, good. Somebody's returning fire. Avoiding torpedoes. Oh, it is actually an AMC. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll go for it then. This is, dude, they named it Media Merchant Class. <laughs> no, it's named Hercules Class. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to say, it's a terrible, terrible name. And this guy just did a complete, that must be a destroyer. No, no, no. Keep going. Guys, make your way home. You are the Invader Class, not the Warrior Class or Engager Class. So, 
Oh, I, I can't even control you. Whatever, just do your own thing then. And this is the one I want. I don't think that's an actual just transport, is it? Guess so. Oh, I guess it was. That I think that's the one that like turned on a dime there. Sighting an unknown ship. Oh, right here. It's already dead. Okay, good. So we cleaned up everything. <laughs> there it is. I actually cleaned up everything. Okay, good. Well, major victory. I mean, intense little fight there. So I started to say this right before um, we got into that engagement, but we might as well send the Tycos with some reasonable es escort. Sorry, Constitution, you didn't make the cut. <laughs> we'll wait until they're at least in good condition. But we're going to send them on uh, a sortie into Northern Europe and see if we can draw, uh, you know, get into a big fight. I doubt the British will accept, but if they do, it'll be a fun one. And that one actually could mean something in terms of points and all that. Okay, so we are going to refit you guys. Oh, that's right. We have two competing classes now because reasons. Um, that's right. It makes sense now. We upgraded their turrets. So, I, by the way, can I, I? I'm pretty sure I cannot, but can I rebuild you in the 1920? Yeah, I cannot. So the reason why the other ones are so much cheaper, um, and I mean so much lighter, and I was able to, able to get more rounds per gun is because we were able to, when we did the turret, um, it, it was a lot lighter. We had had so much technology improvement for the 1927, between 1923 and 1927, we must have got a lot of turret weight decreases and upgrading the turret meant that oh, the weight difference changed by a lot. So I'm actually kind of glad, even though it, forces us into this two ship style thing and it's not it's pretty expensive to rebuild the turret 30, uh, yeah 38 million so we're not going to do that so unfortunately we just refit these guys with director on the secondaries and that's how they'll be yeah I think that's that's just it so some of them are going to have less amulet than the others but that's okay Rebuild. Okay, the next thing is these Philippine, no, no, the Mount Rainiers, yes. So we don't have better 13 inch guns, which is, I'm pretty sure what I was waiting for the whole time, but we don't have better anything. So let's just basically do a, a, a nothing refit. Oh, I mean, I guess we can get more ammunition, why not? And that will be this refit. And we'll just go ahead and claim all of them at the same time. And maybe we can send someone else over, like the von Steubens. Just move your way back to Southeast Asia when you can, at your leisure. Okay. Um, yeah, not yet. We want to wait for the Tycos to be in better than fair condition. Okay. What the hell? Our battleships are here. But it's not actually who's fighting. Okay, we're supposed to sink to these... Only the Puerto Rico's firing. God, get these guys out of here as quickly as possible again. Uh, but you know what? Just turn together so whatever formation's fine. Just so, yikes. We gotta head north. Out of here. And Puerto Rico, I hope you can do it all for yourself. Good luck. Yeah, you're gonna sight a lot of ships. Because it is a convoy. Those are probably destroyers. One would hope. That is maybe not a destroyer. Oh, this is nice. This is the Grand Rapids. I forgot about that. That was the Grand Rapids that we're using here. So this is the US class. I mean, this are some pretty good ships. to get them away okay Puerto Rico took a hit oh we have a Pegasus yeah this is gonna be a tough fight for Puerto Rico actually um, yeah it's gonna be a fight 
We are hitting her with 8 inch guns, which is, <laughs> you know, problematic, I'm sure. Okay, we don't want to be hit by torpedoes, so I'm trying to do some maneuvering. Okay, good, this is perfect. Hit her. She's going in a circle. I think I'm going to risk launching manually. I don't have my sound on, so for once I'm not going to tell you. <gasps> oh, it's perfect! Oh, it's perfect! Slow me down, I want to see this. Probably one more, two more minutes, I should say. Oh god, no! I needed them on slow. Oh man. And we're out of torpedoes too. Okay, well. Really, we need to go over to the Pegasus. And look at, she's regained her everything. I don't know if we'll be dodging torpedoes or not. We're obviously doing a lot of damage to this Pegasus. Besides an unknown ship. Okay, that's fine. What about you guys? Go ahead and... <laughs> it's so weird to have your escorts just <laughs> abandoning your ship. Like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm a little worried. What's that one? Okay, it's also a destroyer. Okay, so we've done well on the transport side of things, but I want to get rid of this Pegasus too. Yeah, we got her uh, again. We're hitting all kinds of things. Focus on the Pegasus. Yeah, we don't care, just focus on the Pegasus. Good. Yes. Okay, we're hitting other ships, I mean, but that's not what I want us to do. Another hit. All these eight inch all these eight inch hits must be doing their must be doing something. Okay, what are you doing? Come on. Focus on the Pegasus. Okay, good. She actually is now, supposedly. Alright, that's good. And they are not heading back to port anyway. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do here. And it said we limited flooding. I didn't even turn these things on. Eh, we can do that now. Okay, flooding is really minor. Definitely have enough to make it back to port. Assuming we aren't hit by a torpedo, so let's also try to avoid that. I think this Pegasus is done. Let's just verify. No, nope, she's not done yet. Ooh, wow, we've actually knocked out guns. I mean, these, these are eight inch guns. Something really to be scared of. Oh yeah, she's down. She's down for the count. Now we did sink most of the transport ships over here, but I know that we don't have too many, or too much ammunition left. Oh my gosh, like none. Well, the aft has some, so we can go and use our aft gun. Okay. There they are. All right, good. There we go. So we we'll might as well just take these down as well. Is this was this a fight in support of the um, invasion? I don't even know. Use our aft gun. Use our aft gun here. Okay, we are hitting that dune. Get her down. Do we have secondaries though? We have secondaries, and they are on deliberate fire. They're four-inch guns. How much ammunition do you have? Rounds left. 158. Okay, so we have something left, at least. <laughs> Kill this guy. We're going to be out of ammo soon. Okay, guys, come back. <laughs> I actually need you. <laughs> what kind of ammunition do you still have? Yeah, you got plenty of aft ammo though. So as long as we keep these guys in aft range, should be okay. Let's see these dune. Yeah, these dune are definitely worth killing. Okay, so let's focus on the us class because yeah, um, the other one's already sinking. That's what we saw. Okay, good.
Yeah, this class means business. You know what? I'm not sure we do want to bring these guys in. I'll bring them kind of over, but I'm probably not going to actually use them. Oh, they're picking up. They're picking up. Uh, whatever. Don't let them do it. Take them down. Minstrel, go at the minstrel. We actually lost? No. That's the... Uh... Alright, 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 alright. That's good enough. Let's go back. Just sink some of the transport ships, I guess, and go home. And I'm not going to bring these invaders in. It would be so suicidal. Okay. So we'll just finish this uh, battle here. Nyom. 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 You know what? You don't like the sound effects? You go make your own series. <laughs> all right, I think that, that we've done everything here. I think these are all sinking. And you know what? Even if they aren't, it's obviously a huge win for us. So plow on ahead. This guy wants to come in. What is he doing? Okay, gave up. Good. There it is. Okay, good. So, wow, really successful. Left three of them alive, but. Uh, that's some good damage, considering. And that's why we uh, kept these. I'm so glad we did not eliminate the Grand Rapids. I mean, they are, they are still a very, very formidable class, despite being legacy. <laughs> yeah, legacy, but they have 8-inch guns. <laughs> and you don't want to mess with the 8-inch guns. So, still a little bit of time left. Um, Tycho's are still fair. Yes! Peace negotiations derailed by Hawk Party. So it looks like ship design is no longer doing anything for us. Oh, okay. Wow. Wait. Oh, okay. It's here. Oh, God. It's not a good time either. Wait. What are these? Ah, Yosemites. All right. Terrible time to be doing this, but... Uh, oh, it's right out of Nassau. Wait, is this where we invaded? New Providence, it is. Okay, yeah. All right, so we have, these are the Galveston. Not the best. Go to support. Line ahead, squad max. Go here. Actually, you know what? Stay in green. And turn together. Because it's going to go dark really quickly, and... I want them to stay in this formation so that they protect my battle cruisers. Still, we want to get going as fast as possible. They have one battle cruiser. Okay. This is basically time to shine. No, we're not going to do line of breast. We're going to go line ahead, turn together off. You guys go ahead and go to support as well. Line ahead, turn together. All right, let's do this. Get the battle cruisers out of here for the moment. <laughs> they can come in when all the uh, torpedoes have been launched from the destroyers, etc. Yeah, good. Okay, here we go. Away we go. Tally ho. What's your speed? And by the way, is. is yeah, okay, you guys are already maxed. Wow, it's really good acceleration. They probably went down towards port. Can we catch them before they are gone? By the way, we should probably know our vision range. Our vision range is pretty good. Where the hell did they go? Ah, yeah, they did go that way. Okay, so if we can, can we launch any torpedoes before they disappear? No. Come back, you big coward. Ah, sad. I mean, I don't know what to do now. We could patrol around, but you have the risk of running into mines. 
which is crummy. I think we just don't care. I think we just, I mean, just don't bother trying to get them. All right, go ahead and AI formation, AI control. Go down to like 22 or something like that, and then we'll just zoom around. Okay. Apparently we're not the only ones here. Yeah. Well, that was a bummer. What were we up against? It would be nice to see. Oh, we had, oh, cool. Oh no, this is the old ones. Oh, it was an indie. It was the indie, the namesake. Indefatigable. No, shame we weren't able to engage her. I, I, I mean, the um, Yosemite is probably slightly outmatch her, but it's a good fight. It's still a good fight. So, wow, I, yeah, it's just hard to get, okay, one more month, we'll get any Tycos in good to go, uh, they'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, but the Great Lakes is the one we want, and we do not want old. All right, how long is it going to take to rebuild you? We will build them, we will make them better. We don't have the six inch guns. Damn you. Yeah, it's really the only thing missing is the six inch guns. We'll wait. We'll send them in obsolete, I guess. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I was a little bit scared that they weren't gonna decline. <laughs> like, I don't know if I wanna fight this. Okay, so we have invasions going on currently in New Providence, and we have this invasion. Troops are resisting, and I don't know if it gives you any clue as to whether the battle's being won or lost. Yeah, they're just resisting in both cases. But I think I'm gonna wrap this with that, um, wrap this video up here. I don't know why that was difficult to say, but I'm just because I think the next battle we get into will be too long to get to actually play out. And can we actually invade Nova Scotia as well? We can. I mean, holy cow, we could completely. I feel like this is exactly what was happening to me when I was playing as the UK myself. Oh, it was so tough. It was brutal. The United States just really dominates Britain in the end game, and it's really sea zones and foreign tonnage requirements that end up doing you in. So, something like this, losing this colony, is actually a, <laughs> a benefit for the British. It's one less place they have to deploy ships. So, anyways, I think we have this design. We, we, I mean, okay, we just have a little bit of time. I think it's going to be a battle cruiser. Oh, quality one, 16 inch guns. Yet, we can get. Something like this. Obviously delete that. Delete that. And then I think we upgun. How we, oh god. <laughs> I mean this is a battle cruiser. That's way too high. Take the deck of four if we can. Uh, we need more. Um, yeah, still brutal that we can't get better than that. This is impossible to build. We can only go to fifty-two thousand. <laughs> we cannot build this ship. So my dream is dying slowly. What if we go down to three in the back? <gasps> All right, so this is definitely a chase ship. It's kind of like XTRG's design. I think that there's some merit to it. We don't. We could just point at whatever ship we want to shoot. We don't have to try to get our broadside going on because our broadside only adds three more. We get seven just going straight. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to need more than this. So there will there will be other sacrifices that we need to make. Huh. Maybe speed. Yeah, that 29th knot really is pretty painful. We can even probably get more belt out of this. Deck is looking good at 4. I think that's fine. 10.5 for belt. 
Oh, we can even get 11. Oh, and 115 rounds. I'm sold. Like, this really feels right. I still have the list. This would be the Mars class. Not sure I like that name. I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's the God of War. So we can, yeah, Mars class. Very, not extremely American. Seems like more of a British naming scheme to me. Um, yeah, but I mean, we'll leave this design here. I'll, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we definitely need that last, even at the cost of some amount of ammunition. What did I do? I put the belt up to, okay, let's do this instead. Which, which do I need more? 150, oh my God. I mean, if we're not sinking things, <laughs> probably the belt is better than two, I don't know. We'll save it as is here. I won't build it. And I'll let you guys provide feedback. And we'll come back in thinking about what we want to do. Do we want another dreadnought? That's, I mean, that was a battle cruiser, right? What did I call that? Yeah, it was a battle cruiser. So that would be a chase only battle cruiser. If we were running away, it's only got three guns. So, <laughs> but pretty accurate as well because of the gun data. Oh, uh, 38,000. So 30,000 range means uh, that's the benchmark for, every, I mean, range, the accuracy is based on maximum range. So higher maximum range means slightly accurate, slightly more accurate. Anyways, like I said, call this to a close here. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, take care.